So you want to figure out how to actually get your candle fill weight right. I got you covered, okay? You're in the right place. Yes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision, where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. And in today's video, I'm going to support you. I'm going to get you on the right track. I know you want to stray. It gets a little confusing with fill weight, but I got you, okay? So I'm going to be sharing with you all my exact process to determine your wax fill weight using water. And if you stay until the end, I will be sharing with you my secret process to make sure I get a strong hot throw every time with a specific amount of fragrance. So definitely stay tuned for the video. If you like videos like this, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to see in the future. If you need guidance, personal guidance as it relates to your business, you know, getting started, picking out your name, uncovering how to actually earn six figures in your first year, then I recommend downloading the Candle Making Survival Guide. It'll be linked in the description of this video. If you use the code FALL, you get 60% off. 60% off, okay? And definitely take advantage of that sale. It'll only be going on for the entire October because November is the price to go back up. Just like last year, the price went back up because people had needed it before the year began. Take advantage of the sale. And yeah, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first we're gonna dive into the wax weight with water method. Oftentimes online, people say, you can't measure water with wax. It's inaccurate, it's inaccurate, it's inaccurate. Duh, water and wax weigh differently, but you can leverage water in your testing so you don't have to waste a lot of wax you know what i mean because the last thing you want to do is do a test with some wax melting down determining the weight in that regard because then that's like a good you know 50 50 11 dollars it's a lot of money you want to keep your money you want to save that money you're gonna save that money so i got you um instead of using wax you could use water so that means that every time you weigh your water in your jar and it's to your liking as it relates to the fill line then you leverage that number in a mathematical equation here where you times it by 0.86 to get the amount of wax and fragrance you'll need to fill it up so typically a lot of people get that confused they're like oh my god what do we do how are we going to measure like should i just put the water in oh it says 10 ounces okay guys i need 10 ounces of wax and then you mad and then you mad 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 you don't have to be mad you can be happy okay and in this video i'm also going to be sharing a step-by-step -step demonstration of how i do it because i have some jars these jars here these big body bins I have five wicks in here it's a huge jar and I got it from a vendor and you know they are all on the floor inside and really it's just they're out here for the chicken the cheddar cheese they're trying to get their money they don't have a product description that properly tells you what the fill weight is the fill line is and even if they do comment below this happens to y'all too but you'll run into the scenario of the fill line that they said is not looking good. Like to me, this looks good. You know, we're like about a one fourth of an inch. We're a little bit, but they ain't talking about something super, super, super low. And we don't have time for that. Plus you have to account for the fact that you have certain types of lids that need more space. So as you can see, this is a lid that goes in. So we need more space. And that's something you would be able to determine with water testing which we'll get into in this video but yeah i would definitely recommend just doing my method it definitely helps tremendously with getting this accurate as you all know as a best practice it's important to review the website recommendations take it with a grain of salt though because it just depends on what happens when that package gets to you okay because oftentimes i don't know where or how they are judging what to put in the description there but it doesn't seem like there's a gold standard for like fill weight or fragrance suggestion or wicking it seems like all of those things come from trial and error slash watching youtube videos like this one <laughs> so i love to give you insight into what you can do before you get into trial and error purgatory if you want to make it even easier there's a wax gravity calculator which i'll link down below so you don't even have to do the math on your own by going into calculator.com and going like Point six. How do you do this? It'll just automatically do it. Like if you tell them how much water you put in there, it'll tell you how much the wax is recommended. And and that leads me to my next point. So I'm sure you're wondering by now, like, okay, so I got my number. My number is 11. What do I do? How do I make it do what it needs to do? How am I to do this? Right? I got your back. So if your wax or your volume in of 
wax and fragrance should be 11 ounces, then I recommend using the Talisha Hot Throw Fragrance Method. Okay, you probably seen it on my channel already if you've subscribed to Boss Vision. If you haven't, hey girl, hey, subscribe so you can see my secrets. But this is what I do, okay? This is what I do. It's controversial in the industry because everybody's talking about, oh, do 7%, oh, do 8%, oh, do 12%. All I do. All I do is 10% every time. <laughs> Seriously, every single time I make a candle, I do 10%. It's controversial, it's like, what you talking about, girl? That's crazy, girl. But it ain't that crazy if you think about it. The average is 10%. And typically what you're gonna see with your fragrance and candles is that having that ratio puts you in a better position to get a very strong hot throw because it's not overcrowding your wax and it's not uh, too faint for you to not get that very strong scent. The last thing you wanna hear, your deepest fear is for someone to say, oh, I love your candles, they smell so subtle. You don't want a subtle candle. You want a hot throw. You want it to be hot. Throw some fire in that, in that house, you know? You want to be that blaze. And when you do 10%, you are that slut. You are that blaze, okay? And the best way to determine that is through, if you had 11 ounces of fill weight for your candle, you would need to do 10 ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance, okay? And I know, Somehow in the candle community, they be like percentages kind of measure out to be something that it just confuses me to be. But when I hear 10%, I hear 10%. It's almost like a tip. If you're at the restaurant and you're looking at your tip and it's just 10%, okay? Out 10, okay, you know? So it's 10 ounces and one ounce. This though can get a little tricky because if you have an eight ounce jar, you're like, what do I do? How do I get 10% of eight? To me, I played around with that number for a while. And honestly, eight ounces, I, I just couldn't get it. The best I could do is like seven ounces of wax and 0.7 ounces of fragrance. That would mean I have it at 7.7 .7 ounces of a candle. I played around with that a lot and the best I can get it at is 7.3 ounces of wax and 0.73 ounces of fragrance, which will get me to 8.03 ounces of wax. So if anything, when you sell your eight ounce jars to people, you can you can use the selling point of farmers market. Like this is actually heavier, so you're getting more for value for your you know your buck, bang for your buck. <laughs> So yeah, that's the best I could do with that challenging one. And I would say go by point three if you have another challenging one. Like, what if you need to fill a nine ounce jar? Like, oh my god, nine. Nine doesn't do ten cute like I need it. Cause that's how math works in my head. And hopefully I can help y'all if y'all brains is like mine. So nine, it's like, oh my gosh, okay, so we do, we're gonna do 8.3 and 0.83. And that'll give us 9.1, okay? So 9.1 is a lot, but that 0.1, it's not gonna be a make or break as it relates to your candle. Likelihood of a lid joining the chat, it's gonna join the chat every time, okay? And you won't have to deal with the scenario of not getting a strong hot throw to do all that you know, math in your head to compromise on, you know, quality. So here we are. As you see, it's 16.9. You can see that. Excuse the wax. 16.9. Now we're going to zero it out. So now it's completely zero fluid ounces. So I will go by fluid ounces because wax is still a fluid. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and determine how much water we want just by pouring it in there. Okay, so this is where I want it. And as you can see, that's 13.6. And as you can see, I'm gonna put the lid in here for demonstration and it fits perfectly. So we don't have to worry about um, the lid touching the water. See, it's in there. And it didn't even get wet. That's a, that's a great indicator. Like, let me do it again. So you put it in there, put the lid in, you pull it out. It didn't get wet. So if the lid doesn't get wet, that's a sheer indicator that this um, is not gonna be interrupted. So it's at 13.6 there, and you can determine what 13.6 is through 
the wax gravity calculator i'll share my screen right now later we google calculator right and we put that it was 13.6 ounces and we're just going to times that by 0.86 and you'll see that you only need 12 oh 11.6 ounces here uh well really 11.7 ounces here which we could definitely find the 10 percent of uh just as it relates to that but you could even take it down lower to just 11 and do the 10 ounce to one ounce you know ratio with 10 ounces of wax and one ounce of fragrance so yeah there you have it it's completely different if you were to go with a 13.6 ounce uh jar or 13.6 ounce candle it would have been so full and you'll be so pissed you waste so much product because you need to make sure that your fill weight doesn't interrupt your lid but yeah there you have it folks in real time what to do and how this is what i would do y'all i would do 10.3 ounces of fragrance and I mean 10.3 ounces of wax and then 1.3 ounce of fragrance and I would get 11.6 so it's just shy of that full you know 11.696 whatever it was so yeah I hope this video was helpful comment down below if you'll be using my wax weight water method and also if you haven't grabbed the ultimate can of make a survival guide I would definitely recommend grabbing that today in October while it's still on sale the link will be in the description of this video if you use the code fall you get 60% off if you want to smell my candles and do put them to a test to see if they actually have a strong hot though then go to sensevision.com if you use the code YouTube you get 20% off you can't beat that well you actually can't if you use the code fall vibes you get 25% off you know I got your back like Kyra Pratt <laughs> I always say that because of Andre 3000 y'all remember that song I choose you you know we got your back like Kyra Pratt if that do you dirty we wipe her as in detergent now hurry hurry go to the altar Keep your heart three stacks. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in a good mood today, but yeah. Hope this video was helpful. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, like I said before. And I hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Live in your purpose. Love life. Go hard or go home. Just enjoy. Your, you know, just do your thing, okay? I'll see y'all next time. All right, bye.